Let's get into the video, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. A man is accused of carjacking two individuals at gunpoint in a 30-minute span earlier this week. Virgil Gibson, oh my God, what happened to Virgil, is facing two felony counts of aggravated vehicular hijacking with a firearm, along with one felony count, each of aggravated unlawful restraint and armed aggravated kidnapping. Around 11.47 p.m. on Sunday, Gibson allegedly participated in a carjacking of a vehicle from a 32-year-old man at gunpoint in the 5900 block of South Morgan Street. Furthermore, Gibson is implicated in an aggravated carjacking and aggravated kidnapping incident involving a 35-year-old man, which occurred on Tuesday at approximately 12.15 a.m. in the 8300 block of South Cottage Grove. Members of the Vehicular Hijacking Task Force apprehended Gibson around 12.33 p.m. on Tuesday and subsequently charged him. His detention hearing is scheduled for Wednesday. First of all, nigga, oh my God, what happened to Virgil? I did not know PGF nickname was Virgil, man. 22 years old. You was just posting on your Instagram how you about to do a show. And, and you was posting in your story how you back on your rap-ish. And all of it is over with, man. Your career is done. They about to hit you with the max and throw the whole book at you, man. You got caught red-handed. And this is what I'm saying, man. How this dude supposed to have Santa deal? You got all this bread. And you out here carjacking people, kidnapping them, moving them here. All felony charges is over with, man. Where the older dudes at, man? See, you young dudes don't want to listen to older dudes. And then y'all put yourself in the most stupidest situations, man. These little dudes is why leadership was always needed. These little dudes is why having a big homie is always needed because they do dumb shit. This is dumb. You still out here living the life you was living. You weren't never ready to be uh, no rapper. You weren't never ready to have clout fame. You already got the world. You and Pooh Shice got the world, you know, wearing masks. You were the whole face, man. Nigga, that's the cover of your little chin, man. You got a booty chin. Like, it... All that you presented that whole image because you know you ugly, bro. No homo. You know you look funny, bro. You ain't even want to take your mask off in interviews, bro. You see what I'm saying? And then when you did take your mask off, nobody even knew who you was. So you didn't even have really your own identity of, 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 of being recognized unless you had that mask on. And that mask represents, you know, the life that you chose to live. And it's okay if you live the life. The thing is, bro, why are you still living this life, man? Your homies obviously ain't care about you. They, you should have had homies around you that was telling you, no, nah, you ain't got to do nothing. But you know what you was doing? You spent up all your money on drugs. You spent up all your money on drugs for you and the homeboys. You spent up all your money on whoever knows whatever the hell else you spent it on. So you was out here struggling, bro. You out here in hotties and stolos and all this, bro. What's going on, man? You out here robbing people their cars, man. Then you get paid enough money where you you could have had about five, six cars. You doing shows, you could have kept it going. Why did you even stop in the first place? Look. So by the time you get out, they probably they talking about they looking at hitting you with a 10, 15, 20 ball, man. Just for this and prior charges you already could call. Listen, man, that same game, bro, that you was just with, when you locked up, they ain't gonna be there for you. If they already robbing people with stolos and all that. You know they ain't got no money for real. You was the only chance your crew had for money. So you about to be sitting in there with all these regrets. You ain't going to be off drugs how you was. So you're going to be in there tweaking. And nobody going to be there for you. What do they have to give you? Nothing. They stealing cars and robbing people, bro. You just got hit with all these felonies for what? At 22 years old, bro. We don't learn from, you got to learn from other people's mistakes, man. You was a young boy, you knew 22-year-olds who got killed and went to jail, man. You learned nothing from nobody, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So, the little peak wave you had for nothing. Uh, all the, the career inspiration you wanted for nothing because you didn't know how to leave the streets alone, man. I tell you all the time, you might be about that life, but life ain't about that, bro. And it just caught up to him at a young age, man. Look, man. You're supposed to be getting into it, in trouble at your juvie stages, bro. And you learn that from your mistakes at juvie, man. Ain't no way you're supposed to for real be in the nothing and get caught for doing nothing when you get grown, bro. A lot of people 
who get caught going to jail and all this wrong, they never had a childhood life, man. Because if you was in these streets at a childhood at any time, or if you was in it, you going to juvenile, bro. And from juvenile, you be with 30, 50 other criminals, bro. Y'all all get together. You learn what to do, what not to do. You learn from this man, this man, this man. And then when you become grown, bro, if you're going to still choose to live that life, you, you can't make the mistakes because now people going to praise you for going to jail. Man, look, man, only a fool that get caught goes to jail. You see what I'm saying? A fool that got caught doing something he wasn't supposed to do, man. Now this little boy whole career over with. And now people is icing you on the internet, bro. Go to PGF Nook. Let Instagram post and go to his comments. They icing that nigga. They don't comment more on, on his music than they did. And this is another thing, though. I got to tell you, because I'm a part of it, too. Man, don't we love when a black person down, man? <laughs> it's almost like in our nature. Now, one thing about me, I get paid to do this, right? But a lot of them comments free. It's almost in our nation to shit on the nigga when he down. And when he up, we don't get no praise, credit, or respect. We don't speak on it or nothing. Include me. Negativity run everything, man. And it just seemed like a lot of people been praying on this little boy dog for. I forgot about the honestly. After the first couple, you know what I mean, videos he had. And after the wave he had, it died out. He stopped. He didn't know how to... You can take a nigga out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the nigga. He ain't know how to adjust. Then we got to start looking at Lil Dirks, and we got to start looking at Cheap Keeps. And regardless of what they did or how they did it, they, they was going to jail at a young age, man, and they got out, and they just stopped. Bro, his music career, he was on point pace to being a big-time little, little rapper. You see what I'm saying? And at 22, life gone, bro. Over with. Man, you can't make this up. Hey, man, y'all make sure y'all go uh, follow underscore I am growth on Instagram, man. You know what I mean? People I mess with, you know what I mean? Uh, this Instagram being ran by my boy, A1 Day 1 underscore food, man. Y'all make sure y'all go over there and show the boy some love, man. He be rocking with me before the, behind the scene, and he AK game for sure, man. But if y'all still here, man, let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this, man. PGF Nook just crashed out through his career away. Sad, but we ain't about to feel bad. Make sure y'all follow me on uh Instagram at underscore king underscore ak underscore forty seven underscore that's underscore k i n g underscore a k underscore underscore f o r t y s e v e n underscore. You feel what I'm saying? Hit that like, subscribe to the channel, share this video. Let me know, King AK four seven Voice of the Streets. I'm out.